What's up, YouTube? Stephen Hill here again, Outdoorsman Bass Angler. Today's a nasty Saturday here in LaGrange, Georgia, but we're about to go fish. Let's go fish. We're going to get us a big in the day, folks. <laughs> So, all right, let's get you guys caught up to speed. So, again, it's the weekend. It's a gloomy, cold, rainy Saturday in LaGrange, Georgia, and we're going fishing. Um, right now, I'm in the truck, headed to my brother-in-law house. Uh, you guys get to meet him. He got an awesome YouTube channel, man. The Willis Family Team Purpose Cuts. They have a channel. Make sure you guys, you know, go follow that, and I give you guys... The opportunity to meet him but yeah we're driving to his house now we're not gonna take my boat out today we're actually gonna take his out he wants to fish a new spot and we're getting on his boat so don't know what the success rate <laughs> will be today but whatever the case may be you guys would definitely be there with us when we're bringing them in so if the bass aren't hitting I did bring a crappy pole just in case you know since I'm out here, it might be a great opportunity just to put some additional fish on the dinner table for the wife and kids. So, you know, you guys stay tuned. And like I said, again, we're headed to the brother-in-law house and we'll be there shortly. And we are here, man. As you guys see, we got brother-in-law with the big truck and he's ready to rock and roll, man. So we're gonna get out here and see what we can do. You guys stay tuned. truck man like i said i got brother-in-law with me man you know tell them where they can find you at q on the water on the water <laughs> man the water. you got a lot of great youtube content man you guys need to What's check up? it out man team perfect cuts the willis family i mean that's like a conglomeration of fishing videos right. church videos right. family videos so it's a little bit something there for everybody man that's so it. we about to get out here like he say it's a nasty day is it nasty yes. <laughs> nasty day man we about to get out here like i said again when the bad weather comes the real fisherman steps out so let's get it we're fishing in chocolate milk today folks it's going down side today i'm gonna be running the back of the boat got brother-in-law captain at the front so right now we're just trying to really find out what the pattern is that the fish are running so right now we're fishing uh some rock here because we know that the rock traditionally holds the heat longest and we're going to see if we have any uh you know bass hiding out any cracks or crescents uh brother-in-law right now what you throwing cap zoom trick run so he's throwing the zoom trick run right now you guys i'm throwing a lipless crankbait just trying to search the fish and you know to see if we can locate some so we have any bites we'll see so stay nice. tuned be honest with you it's cold real cold been on the water now probably about 40 minutes have yet to got a bite but we're not giving up this is what we love to do so we're gonna move to the next spot tie on some new lures keep at it man so here it is a nasty nasty saturday on west point lake and what are we doing fishing what could we be doing laying in the bed enjoying a great cup of coffee but no real fishermen fish <laughs> So here's 
the store. So spot number two, we actually got a bike. You know, brother in law had a good, pretty good bike, brought it all the way to the boat and lost it. Found out that the fish are actually laying down on lay downs in probably less than a half a foot of water, man. It's unbelievable. So we're gonna go see, can we find some more structure, uh, some, some more lay downs on this lake to see if uh, we can get another big bite. All right, so here's the current rundown. So this is a spot that we typically have a lot of success on uh, during the summer months of the, the season. So, you know, it was a great opportunity to stop back here to see what the actual the, the lay of the land, the structure looks like uh, when the water levels are residing. So, you know, now we're about to get out of here again. We're going to still, you know, throw in, see can we pull out some of our bass on some of these additional laydowns that we just discovered. So, you guys wish us luck. All right, you guys. So, a, a major change in the presentation right now. So right now I'm fishing the green pumpkin crawdad on the green pumpkin jig head. And we're gonna see can we get some of these uh you know low hangers to bite. Maybe a little bit deeper than what we thought. So we're still you know fishing around cover. Uh see can we replicate the bite that we had earlier. So we'll see if anything happens. Tell you what, man, our equipment is definitely holding up quite well today, man. It is blistering cold out here. As you guys see, we're wet, <laughs> but we're still at it. So, you know, if you guys been out on the boat on the weather like this, man, you know, definitely let us know in the comments, man. I want to hear your story, man. Tell me some of the success you had. I mean, did you keep things traditional, black and blue, spinner bait, or did you try something new, man? Because we're, we're throwing everything we got out here right now, and, uh, as if we needed some more drama, man. <laughs> Bro, a lot of lucky hat just flowing off the boat. I promise you, I've lost a hat, he lost a hat, but this one right here is his favorite hat. Can't lose this one. What makes this one so special, man? It's waterproof, man proof, woman proof. It's just a beautiful thing here. What? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah, there you go, man. So, <laughs> we successfully recovered the cap. I dare you to put it on your head right now. It looks just like outside. it's never been in the water. It doesn't hold water. It doesn't hold haterism. <laughs> it doesn't hold any of that type stuff. You know what I'm saying? It just release. Go ahead. <laughs> ah. You know why I did this, right? Because this is waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I just made it back to my truck, man. I tell you what. <laughs> it's been a morning and uh stay tuned for the official review i'll let you guys know how well we done today so this is the official review so as i told you guys earlier man it was a blistering cold day but being the outdoorsmen that we are we couldn't resist it was a day off so it was a day to enjoy the outdoors no matter the conditions uh the water temperature was around about 45 degrees um for the most part, you know, forecast had it at about 43 degrees or 44 degrees when in, in terms of the temperature today. Uh, very cloudy and rainy, overcast day. Wind speeds were up, but hey, it was a day to put the boat in. So here's what I got. 